You've probably seen or heard about ChatGPT being used for writing emails, brainstorming ideas or even just having fun conversations. But are you actually using ChatGPT to its full potential? Well, that's exactly what we are going to cover in this video. Whether you are a total beginner or you're someone like me who asks every question that arises in your mind to ChatGPT while also looking to level up your AI game, I've got you covered. By the end of this video, you will know how to use ChatGPT like a pro and get the most out of it. Let's jump right in. For someone who is super duper new to AI world, let's start with the ultra basic. What is ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT is an AI assistant. This AI assistant is built to be supernatural, it's connected to the internet and has a wide knowledge on a lot of topics. So you can ask pretty much anything to ChatGPT and it'll converse with you in a natural language. You can ask questions, you can ask to write something for you, you can ask to generate images, you can ask some reasoning problems, it's just limitless. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is access ChatGPT and you can either download the ChatGPT app on your phone which is available for both iOS and Android or if you're on a computer just go to ChatGPT.com in your web browser. Now you can use ChatGPT without logging in just as a guest but I highly recommend signing up with email or your Gmail or Microsoft account. The reason I say this is because when you log into ChatGPT, the ChatGPT will save all your conversations. So there is always a history of your old conversations which you can go back and look at. But also, this way ChatGPT is building its memory of you. For example, I've asked ChatGPT to help me with my YouTube channel, my creative style, etc. So next time I want to ask something, I don't have to say I'm a YouTuber, my YouTube channel name, my interests and styles. ChatGPT will remember me through my login and make things easier for me. Once signed in, you're all set to start chatting with ChatGPT. Once you're logged in, you will land on the ChatGPT home screen. Let's take a quick tour of the interface so you know exactly where everything is. This is the chat box or the main area and this is where the magic happens. You type your question or prompts here and ChatGPT will respond in real time. The response is so natural and it's like a super intelligent human is sitting on the other side and chatting with you. Let me show you a couple of examples. I'll tell ChatGPT the list of grocery items I have at my home. I'll also tell some dietary restrictions and preference. Like I'm a vegetarian, I prefer to eat Indian and something light. Then I'll ask ChatGPT to suggest some things I can cook for tonight. There, ChatGPT has given me a few options right away. I can ask a follow-up question to specify the serving size and give me the whole recipe for one of them. Awesome! I just have to follow the recipe to the dot and my dinner decision is done within seconds. Now I will also ask how many calories are there in this recipe per serving and if I could modify my workout routine. As you can see, I can chat with ChatGPT like I'm chatting with a human and it'll give me instant answers. My other most used use case of ChatGPT is when I do not know something. Say, how does the stock market work? I just ask ChatGPT to explain it to me in very simple words. ChatGPT does an awesome job of simplifying the answer. It's also like having an awesome teacher handy. Okay, now on the left side or in the menu on mobile, you will see a history of the previous chats. This is super handy because ChatGPT saves your conversations. You can revisit them anytime. You can ask follow-up questions or keep chats for references. For example, I have a chat history from a business thread. Whenever I get stuck drafting an email for the same thread, I just search for that chat and continue asking ChatGPT to help me with drafting a professional response. If you don't see your chat history, just make Make sure you're logged in. If you want to start fresh, just click new chat at the top of the sidebar for a clean slate and a brand new conversation. Click on the profile icon in the top right corner or in the menu on your mobile, it'll be at the bottom. Here you can access your settings. Under theme, you can choose between dark and light mode to customize the look for your chat GPT preference. You can also change the language of your interface here. Once you've set up everything, the UI is super simple and user friendly, so you'll get the hang of it in no time. If you're using chat 
chat gpt app on your phone the layout is pretty much the same the only difference is the sidebar which is tucked into a menu you can access it by tapping the three line icon in the top left corner Okay, now that you know the basic UI of ChatGPT and how to ask questions, let's see some nuances and ways to fine tune your response. If you look at the chat box, there are a few other options here for you to use. First, you see this plus icon. This is used to attach a photo, audio, PDF or any other file to ChatGPT. This way you can give ChatGPT the file and ask some specific questions related to it. Here I'm attaching my monthly credit card statement PDF and I'm asking ChatGPT how much I spent on dining outside this month. Or how much did I spend on groceries this month? ChatGPT will analyze the attached file and give you specific answers. Next. There is an option to explicitly search the web. You see, generally ChatGPT has its knowledge bank from where it's finding the information from. But if you explicitly enable this search option, it will make sure to search the internet for any updated information. For example, I'll ask what the current price of Apple stock is. I'll enable this search option. ChatGPT will search the internet and give me the updated response. The next option is the reasoning button. Generally, ChatGPT will understand the question and find you the best response. But if you know that the question is a very logical question, which requires a lot of thought and thinking, you can use this button and let ChatGPT know that it has to reason and think a little bit. So ChatGPT will use an advanced AI model in the backend to think, rationalize the answer before it gives its response. On the other side is the voice mode option. This is most useful on ChatGPT mobile. On your phone's ChatGPT app, when you tap on this button to enter the voice mode, you can simply talk to ChatGPT using your voice. ChatGPT will understand your question and respond to you through voice as well. You can have a very natural conversation with ChatGPT in this voice mode. It's super quick to ask something and get an answer. It's one of my favorite ChatGPT features. You should really try it out. Finally, below the chat box, there are a few suggestions from ChatGPT on what you can ask ChatGPT. Like you can ask to generate an image, you can ask to summarize a text, you can ask to debug or help with coding and a lot more. You can explore these prompts and suggestions one by one. Now that we are familiar with the interface, let's talk about how to get the best answer from ChatGPT. One tip I would say after using ChatGPT day and night, literally, is to be more specific. The more details you provide, the better the response you will get. For example, instead of saying plan a diet for me, you could ask I'm 30 and I weigh 50 kgs, plan a vegetarian diet for me. I'm planning to maintain my weight but increase my muscle mass. This way, ChatGPT can give you a more accurate and relevant answer. Also, just feel free to experiment with prompts. You don't have to stick to a basic question. You can ask ChatGPT to do things like draft a professional email asking to source materials for my business or help me brainstorm ideas for my next YouTube video. Or I can ask to summarize a book I'm thinking of purchasing. You see, once ChatGPT generates an answer for you, it also gives a few different options at the bottom of the response. This is a response from ChatGPT when I asked it to generate a business email for me. Now I can copy the whole response and paste it to my email client. I mark the answer good or bad. I can ask ChatGPT to read the answer aloud. Or I can customize the response right here in ChatGPT web through this edit in canvas option. I can continue adding points to my email and if I want to edit a particular section in my email, I can simply select the text like this, ask ChatGPT right there to modify it in a certain tone and ChatGPT will edit my sentences in line. So cool, right? Before we end this video, I want to talk about one important thing, pricing. Is ChatGPT free? Do you have to pay for it? You see, if ChatGPT is the human interacting with you, the brain behind ChatGPT is called the AI model. ChatGPT has multiple AI models that it can use to answer your questions. If you use a more advanced and powerful model, the more capabilities it'll have and the response will be better and accurate. If you use an older, less advanced model, its capabilities are limited. By default, ChatGPT gives 
gives you some limited access to its advanced model every day. If you exceed the limit, it will go back to its less capable model but still free. If you feel that you need the absolute best model and have much more usage access per day, then ChatGPT has a paid plan which costs $20 per month and has a higher limit to use its advanced GPT-40 model. My suggestion, the free version is more than enough for most people. So try it out and see if you need a better model and larger bandwidth for your use case. We have just scratched the surface of what ChatGPT can do. Now I want to hear from you. What's the most interesting way you have used ChatGPT? Drop a comment below and I would love to see your ideas. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on the latest tech tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.